The Gospel according to Matthew chapter 14 At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus and said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him, and put him in prison, for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife. For John said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared that the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. Whereupon he promised with his an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she being before instructed of her mother said, Give me her John the Baptist's head in a charger. And the king was sorry. Nevertheless, for the oath's sake, and them which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. And his head was brought in a charger and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took up the body and buried it, and went and told Jesus. When Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the city. And Jesus went forth and saw all so a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them, and he held their sick. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away, that they may go in into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart. Give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, We have her but five loaves and two fishes. He said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass, and took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven. He blessed and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitudes. And they did all it, and were filled, and they took up of the fragments that remained twelve baskets full. And they that had eaten were about five thousand men, beside women and children. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship, and to go before him and to the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain, apart to pray, and when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, those with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went into them, walking in the sea.
And when the disciples saw him walking in the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him, and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the, the winds boost the rose, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of it truth thou art the Son of God. Then he that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Genesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about, and brought unto him all that were diseased. And besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14.